Hello guys, welcome back to another video of TTYD. Thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe. That was very not good. If I can like get, if I can like memorize that tune, I'm gonna try and like sing to it every video. Anyways, um, welcome back to part two of TTYD. Um, yeah, so we're back in Roomport now. And we are going to do immediately what Kumbella told us to do, which is go this way. Okay. In the last video. Yo! Oops, sorry me, sucker. Hey, hey, what's your beef? I mean, hey, what's your beef, pal? Y yeah, I'm talking to you. <gasps> Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half of your coins. What the? That is so lame. Oh, God, I hate this town. Why did he steal half my coins? Also, yeah, it's very sneaky, it's like you don't expect this, but you can go back here. Hey, I'm pulling another card trick today and making tons of loot. This one started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here, or I'll bonk you. Now we have a new type of person that we'll meet in chapter 4, I believe. Hey, my name's Darkly. I like in places. Now I'm done talking for now. Just casual. I'm done talking for now. Yeah, it's very beautiful and the game just gives you a view of the roof, but, you know. Bye again, Bella. Uh, okay, I don't really care about talking to many people here. Okay, I'm not gonna go past him. He's, he's tough. So, in here, we have Mr. Merlin, who upgrades partners, except I have no partners to upgrade right now. Because I do not have money for that. Your fine spread, really. <gasps> hi, hi. Hey, you all. Professor Frank. Professor Frankly. Ooh. Here's a hill on tonight. Ah, yes, you. Now, you, uh. I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. This music. Such lit. I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Uh, it's not Goombriel. Or it's not Eliza Goom. Erm. Erm. <gasps> Aha, I've got it. You're Goombella, aren't you? You're in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Bang, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at you, Goom. Go, go, Goombas. Of course I remember you. I'll have to take my whole bond very really good at remembering. Vivo, you stick out in my mind because you're such an ex exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... <laughs> Whoa! Wait, sorry. Who? Mario, Professor, he's Mario, you know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies, I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. No, hip in quotation marks. 10 out of 10, this guy's like so old. In any case, what sort of error brings you to all the way to a place like this? We are hoping he tells about the legendary treasure said to be below real court. I thought if anyone knew something about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But, but why do you text want to learn more about the legendary treasure? You know, that mostly... That most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. I mean, I believe the legendary treasure does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, all about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others still claim it in, it's an empty chest. So, so many different theories. And also, by the way, one of those theories was right. If you've played the game, you know what it is, but if you've not, you're probably... Again, I just... I don't know. So many different theories, obviously. It's impossible to divine the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. Key term, crystal stars. To find the treasure of Yule, I mean, to find the treasure of Yule, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. Key term, the thousand year door. That is why it is called TTYD, Paper Mario, the thousand year door. The thousand year door doesn't actually play much in this story, like it does. 
Except not the fact the door itself, just the concept of it does. You mean across the stars? You know, old saying that super elder people pass down? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find a legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map off before the entrance to the thousand year door. Key term, magical map. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it will show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct, and the thousand year door is supposedly here deep beneath this town. A definable piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have a professor, or, well, not we exactly, Mario has the magical map. <gasps> what? Homina hobity, hobita hippity, hoobida, homily, hamala, hafala, hoofala. Really? You, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Astounding, this is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. How would he know? You, son, are a hero, and you're great, fantastic, wonderful, even. With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right now, Professor. Good golly, where are we doing I'm sitting here, man? Goombella, Mario. Off we go off we must go this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. And now, Professor Frankly follows us. And also. There's kind of a key pattern up there, if you can see it. Alright, just face the correct way. Why can he not? Why does he not feel like... Okay, whatever. Just walking perfectly backwards, just like... Yeah, like those little four symbols up there, like right above Mario's head. I think we need those later on. I'm not positive. I'm not sure if that's the specific order or what. Anyways. I bet you didn't know this rotten thing came off, did you? Haha. <laughs> 10 out of 10. We can use this pipe to get deep under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. Oh wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm barely certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so I'll keep your guard up. You need to know about your action commands, don't you? Key term, action commands. And yes, I do. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice in one bit, just to be safe. Um, fine. It's positively shocking. In that case, you'll have to take a second to learn them. Wait, what? Okay, we'll just spam for all this text. He's just standing on Gabella's head. Okay, here goes Mario. He did a guard action command. The key term guard. Guarding will take reduced damage you take. Okay, tap A right before they attack, basically. Let's try hammer. Of course, choose hammer, so go left. Okay, this time for speed, just for the enemy attacks. This is what I was trying to do, because you can get one damage on them if you time this near perfectly. Yeah? That you can get one damage on them. See? You turn the foe's attack back on it. I mean, her. That's a super guard. Key term, super guard. If you do super guard B, you can take no damage and damage your enemy in return. But super guards are harder to do than standard A guards. Who's wisely between them? Okay, I. Okay, I'm just kind of spamming through the text. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just like. Okay, let's just go. Okay, hold down on the control stick. Yay! The animations are so good. Okay, again, I this is kind of a short video, but like I know it will be quite a long video after this anyway. So um, yeah, I guess that's it for today's video. Kind of sorry, I guess. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. Paper Mario Plus your door. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with friends, and tap the bell for notifications if you haven't already. And this music is lit. And comment down below if you feel like it. Or if you have any concerns or questions or whatever. So thanks for watching this episode of Paper Mario Thousand Door. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.